एक जो धारा होती है क्षत्रियों के बारे में कि वो शस्त्रों को लेके और भादुरी और युद्ध में बहुत कामयाबी हासिल करते हैं जी तो एक वो धारा है मुझे लगता है एक और धारा है वो शायद न्याय की धारा है वो आखिर राज करते थे उनके लिए प्रजा समान थी और एक जिम्मेदारी थी कि मैं इस प्रांत का राजा हूँ तो एक दृष्टि से सब मेरे लिए बराबर है तो वो भी एक धारा थी न्याय की धारा और दूसरी तरफ जरूर युद्ध की भी धारा थी तो मुझे लगता है ये पड़ी हुई बात है कि कलोनियलिज्म के बाद हमने उस धारा को ज्यादा महत्वता दी युद्ध की धारा आई थिंक देव आई थिंक नोशन ऑफ रिस्ट्रेनिंग योर अनलिमिटेड अथॉरिटी whether it was moral or whether it was based on uh, counter players you know you had the jagirdars who could also gang up against you suppose you were very extractive then you had to worry about you know other sort of powerful elements so that is real politics you know you had to judge how much you can exploit and how much you can sort of uh, dominate other feudal elements but i think there was another element which is moral uh, which had nothing to do with fear of other power but the fact that as a ruler i have responsibility somebody like gandhi ji was very wary of the state because he felt the state as he put it was a soulless entity and the moment the state became stronger people would um, perhaps lose their agency uh, and he said ultimately for a good society gandhi ji's idea was it was not its material wealth that would count it would be the kind of moral agency of its uh, of its communities and of its uh, uh, citizens um, and i think somehow that element of gandhi ji was not taken seriously now when we look back uh, we have a uh, it's a very unequal relationship very strong state and a very weak samaj and when i say weak i don't mean weak numerically i mean weak in terms of its own self definition Uh, we have become people uh, as citizens demanding of the state everything has to be a right hmm? uh, there is very little we say that we should be doing things ourselves neither does the state allow us to do it nor do we want to do more things ourselves and i think the gandhian sort of vision was that people should take much more responsibility for building a better society um, and and that vision i think has got weakened over time dheere dheere ये पहचान बन गई सत्ता के आने का मतलब आप पे कोई नियम नहीं है नियम तो आप दूसरों पे लागू कर सकते हैं और जब ये बात पूरे समाज में फैल गया तो आपने समाज को एक तरह से तोड़ दिया आपने समाज को एक नैतिक समाज नहीं बनाया जहाँ कोई नियम नहीं है एक ही नियम है पावर का नियम और धीरे धीरे मैं हालांकि इस बात को बहुत अच्छी तरह शायद बता नहीं पाऊंगा आज हम अथॉरिटेरियन सोसाइटी को क्यों अच्छा मानते हैं क्योंकि हम सब अथॉरिटेरियन बनना चाहते हैं हम ये थोड़ा चाहते हैं कि हमारे कुछ किसी की लगाम हो या अंकुश हो ना तो नैतिक अंकुश है ना कानून का अंकुश है क्योंकि हमारे देश ने कोई दूसरा मिसाल पेश नहीं किया ऑब्वियसली आई एम एग्जेजरेटिंग जरूर देर आर मेनी रोल मॉडल्स एंड सॉन बट इवन द एक्टिविस्ट ऑफ आर सोसाइटी हु डे दे लुकअप टू टू द स्टेट मॉरलेस जो दौर चला है नब्बे और जो दशक चल रहे हैं कि हमने कहा सरकार सब कुछ करेगी और वो मुझे लगता है कि एक बहुत खतरनाक शिफ्ट रहा एंड आई थिंक दैट इफ यू आस्क मी द स्ट्रक्चरल वायलेंस इज नॉट जस्ट अराउंड इनइक्वालिटी इट्स अराउंड द माइंड दैट द माइंड नाउ डिजायर पावर इट्स अ मैस्कुल इमेज ऑफ ऑफ एग्रेसिव नोशन ऑफ my self respect comes from power my self respect doesn't come from nurture from care from compassion from solidarity from you know treating the other with respect which were part of our tradition it's not that and and we took the worst aspects of uh, of colonialism and institutionalized it mm. the colonization of the mind now um, as people were given responsibility to do something they actually discovered they could do it well 
uh, they, they, they developed a professional pride. Um, they also got respect from the villagers. And they also were able to tell the villagers when the villagers were cutting corners. And so the whole discourse shifts from demanding from the other uh, to demanding from yourself. And, and that, uh, uh, just to use telegraphic language, was the road to building a Naitik Samaj. This is the time to have a discourse on decolonization after 75 years, because it's obvious where we are going wrong. I mean, anybody can say this is not the India we imagined. And we are all complicit. It's not like, oh, somebody came and did something bad, and now suddenly we become authoritarian. And, and, and there, I think, going back to the more feminine, uh, there may be a better word, aspects of our society, the, the aspects which care, which are uh, not aggressive, which want to nurture, protect. Luckily, there's climate change issues, so there's justification for that. But even without climate change problems, there would be justification for a, a, a discourse on care and compassion and honesty and so on. Uh, and I think India still offers that. 